What's good, homies and homies? Today at Beach Mode Training Camp, we're gonna go out to eat at a barbecue place. It is called Dickie's Barbecue. Now, I'm not sure if you have a Dickie's Barbecue where you live, but to my knowledge, and trust me, I've been to quite a few barbecue places. They're all pretty much the same. Not saying they taste the same, but they usually provide the same shit. Ribs, chicken, turkey, beans, barbecue sauce, ain't shit much different. So if you don't have a Dickies, you can still apply what I'm doing to what you got to do at your local barbecue place. Are you ready? Let's roll out. All right, homies and homets, here we are. Dickie's Barbecue, check it out, been in business since 1941, in case you happen to give a fuck, you probably don't, let's go in. Get that scale out, huh? Sorry? Get that old scale. scale out, huh? Oh yeah. That's how you do it, man, get that protein on deck. Alright, homies and home mix. here we are, I got my food, let me show you what I got, alright? Instead of getting a baked potato is what I usually get, I decided just to give me a side of mashed potatoes. Keep in mind, I plan to go to the gym in a couple of hours, so I don't want to have a real heavy meal. So I got me some mashed potatoes, and I got me some green beans. Then I got me four ounces of chicken, and I got four <laughs> ounces of turkey. And since this is the barbecue place, they put it in that fucking smoker, and it gives it that crazy, tasty flavor. Like, making some uh, turkey on a skillet at your house versus having it at a smoker for the barbecue place, it's two different fucking leagues. You're going to taste the difference. And I already know the question about barbecue sauce is going to come up. I got some barbecue sauce. I actually have the macros for this particular barbecue sauce. Every two tablespoons of this barbecue sauce is eight grams of carbs. Different barbecue brands, sauce brands, even have more than that, which should tell you something. It's very condensed sugar. So if you're going to have barbecue sauce, use it sparingly. Don't just pour it all over the place. You can very well be adding 20 to 40 grams of extra carbs from sugar in your meal. This is what, this is what I like to do. I just do it like this, man, just a little bit. Just enough to taste it, man. That's it. That's plenty for me. All right, I don't need my shit swimming in fucking barbecue sauce. So this right here is a great meal to have if you're cutting. You know, let's say your family invites you out to eat, and they're like, hey, we're about to go to a barbecue place. And you're like, no, I'm cutting, I'm staying home. Don't, don't, don't be that guy. Please don't be that guy. Don't let bodybuilding take you away from your life. Take you away from your fucking family. Get out there and have some fun. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. You still got to fucking play by the rules. You still got to track macros. You still got to, you know, do what you got to do if you want to get lean. That's one thing I've never done. I've never, you know, let bodybuilding keep me from hanging out with my family. You know what I'm saying? But when we go out to eat, please believe I'm probably like the only one eating right. And that's because I'm not the only one in my family that looks good. So I always keep this in mind. Even though you may hang with people or you have family or friends or even girlfriends or cousins, whoever, that may not be in this lifestyle, don't let that shit affect you. You have a job to do. Get that shit done, all right? Just because you're hanging out with your family and friends don't mean you're not a bodybuilder no more. Now, since I'm bulking, of course, keep in mind, I'm not eating like this. If I was cutting, I'd be eating just like this right here. And if you're cutting, I suggest having a meal like this too. It's very easy to track. Of course, it won't be 100% accurate, but it'll be very easy to track this. You can estimate it very well. But since I'm bulking, you already know I had to throw in a couple of ribs, man. You feel me? And you already know I gotta get that roll for the hose. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get fucking big. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Ugh. Look at it. It's like they, they baked butter in this motherfucker, man. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Comment below if you want me to go to a particular restaurant. And if we have it out here in Dallas, Texas, I'll be sure to go there for you. Don't forget to like my shit. Buy 30 of them bitches. Comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy. 